have a confession. I've never trained for a 10K before, but over the next 12 weeks, I'm gonna be training for my fastest ever 10K, and today is gonna be my benchmark time trial. Plus, I'll try and run you through some top tips race day or your next 10K run. So my current PB is 39 minutes, but this was last year when I was definitely at more of my peak fitness level. So let me know in the comments below what time you think I'm gonna to get today or even how much you think I'm gonna improve. Should we get on with it? Let's go. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm just starting off, but I reckon I won't be able to talk to you for much of this. So we'll see how we get on. The last time I ran my PB, I had someone pacing me. I think what's most important is to not start out too fast, which I'm actually already doing, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how we get on. That's 1K. I'm done at a 3.58 minute kilometer pace. So probably a little speedier than I was thinking to start with, but Never mind. I think I'm going to try and aim for about four or five minute kilometers and then try and speed up towards the end in some blind optimism that I could somehow get a 40 minute 10k at the moment. Okay, that's 2k, four or four minute kilometer pace. I'm on target, I think. Heart rate is currently 147. It's a good number for me right now, I think. <laughs> I've really been trying to keep up my fitness levels in the lead up to this, so I'm quite excited to actually see what my time will be today. Something I found really useful in training for other races is to try and keep everything the same as it would be for race day. So for example, having the same nutrition and hydration. So this morning I've tried to have some plain porridge and keep well hydrated in the lead up to this. So I find it quite hard to pinpoint when exactly I started running of my own free will. And I know when I was about 16, I really wanted to join a gym and my family was a bit dubious about that. So I just got some all rounder trainers that I could go out and kind of take a free period or whatever and go for a run. But then when I started university, I thought, actually, I want to have something to aim towards. And I remember signing up to this half marathon where I was absolutely petrified and I left it to the very last minute and then did it. And I just have never looked back. Okay, three kilometers, 401 minute kilometers pace, which means I've done 12 by four so far for 3K. I'm actually feeling quite good, but I think I always feel more nervous at the start of the race, which means that it feels like how am I ever going to get through the rest of this? And right now I'm waiting this for the 5K because then I'll be done in two. But never mind. I think I feel like I can sustain this pace, I can talk. I don't want to waste too much energy. But around the halfway mark, I'll assess where I'm at, see whether I'm going to speed up or we'll stick to the pace I'm doing. Go from there. I always listen to music when I'm running and especially if I'm going for an all-out effort. So not having music there for the time trial was so hard. I kind of fell into the trap at first of just thinking constantly, like, this is so hard, how am I going to get through this? And then I started actually getting into my thoughts and thinking, let's focus on why I love running and why I don't want to stop. I think that really motivated me. And then once you start flipping that mindset, you start smiling, as cheesy as it sounds, that makes you feel so much better. So I think finding that intrinsic determination and motivation was so helpful to get me through it. It feels so tough when the wind's towards me when I round that corner. I think I'm starting to get to know the course a little bit better than I'm doing, because I'm doing a lap route, which means that I know where the slight incline and decline is and where the wind's going to hit me, which I think should help me prepare for the rest of the laps. We hit 4K, 404 minute kilometers. That's 16.09 overall time for 4K. I was thinking, so far so good. I've set myself a pace target in line with where I think I might be based on some interval sessions that I've done recently. And I'm keeping a fairly consistent pace with that. But my plan was to try and give whatever I had left in the final kilometers. I'm wearing the new Andrama Infinite Elite shoe, which are based around comfort with their Hover Plus cushioning, which is actually really swingy and responsive. Plus, they're a great all-rounder shoe, so I plan on doing all my training in them, as well as wearing them for the race day. I normally train in a different shoe to what I'd race in, so I was a little bit nervous about trying out wearing these for everything, but actually everything I've thrown them has been amazing, so I've loved them. Do you like the look of these? Well, you're in luck. We'll be picking one of you watching this to win a pair. 
all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to The Running Channel, like this video and comment what time do you think I'm going to do my final PB in. I am terrible for putting so much pressure on myself and every time I want to go out and run a fast 10k for example, I want to be the best I ever was. And sometimes it can be really demotivating when everyone around you is kind of is getting faster all the time and I want to be there all the time. So at the start of my training block, it's so hard. Um, but I think it's so important to know that you don't need to be the best, like you just need to be better than you were yesterday. So I was coming to the end of this 10k time trial and thinking, well actually I'm quite happy where I am at now and it's such a good starting block to be at and I can only get better from here, right? Okay, I'm just over 7k, 29 minutes have elapsed and I was really starting to find it tough. I'm sticking at my consistent pace but it's feeling harder and harder to stay at this pace now. And I know I might have only got 3k left, but it feels like a really long way right now. I am, however, loving these shoes. So that's a bonus. I feel like they're just so comfy, but they're also giving me that spring to help me forward when I'm going for that fast time. Plus, I've been wearing them in all my training, so it's really nice that I'm used to them and know exactly what I've got with them when I'm running this 10k. Before I start every run with a set goal in mind, I get really nervous. It's not till I start running where I then start thinking, actually remember the reasons why you're doing this. Um, remember where you were back at university and what kind of person you were then and how unconfident and how much you thought so little of yourself. And then think now about actually turn that around in my head, I can do this. And if you think in the positive mindset, you're so much more likely to get it done. Um, so I think changing that mindset and on the run and even smiling or just thinking about those people that support me or about all that hard work that I've put in so far was such a good motivator to get me to the end of it. 8k! I think that's 8k. 4 or 2 pace. I've picked up the speed a little bit. I'm going to try and stick at this pace for the next one. So I'm going to get 9k. I'm going to get to 9k. I'm going to give it everything I've got. I think in the eighth kilometre I thought I'd try and pick up the pace, but when it got to it I thought actually I'm struggling a bit more than I thought I was, so I'm just going to try and stick to what I was doing so far. Do you think I was freezing before we started this? I'm not cold anymore, that's for sure. This is a point in my run where I'd get the really emotional songs on and then just start like being on the verge of crying or like angry. I was so happy when I got to the end of the eighth kilometre and I'd managed to keep that consistent pace throughout. Um, and then we got to kilometre nine and I picked up the pace a little bit more. <sighs> nearly at 9k. <gasps> How can a kilometre feel so long? I think every single time I think I can't do it and I think finding people around you that are able to motivate you and I rely on this so heavily sometimes where someone will have to say to me, you know you can do this and I'll be like, oh, and that's the, li the little bit of feedback I need. But I'm really working on trying to be in that mindset myself to be like, no, actually tell yourself you can do it and just go out and, and smash it. Okay, 9k, 3.57. Don't know how I did that. Oh, sorry, I'm spitting all over the place. Gonna allow myself some leeway up this hill. I say it's not far, but it feels really far. I wonder which one of the running channel teams got the gallery out for me at the end. I'll be disappointed if they're not there. 9.6, 300 meters to go. Whatever distance you want to do, I think make sure that it's something that's important to you and you actually want to do that yourself rather than relying on other people to set that goal for you. Make sure that it's something that's going to motivate you to go forward and not just be something that ends up being a chore. I always feel a little bit emotional as I come to the end but I felt really proud of what I'd done so far, really happy and just that I'd given it everything and I think that's all that matters is that you've given everything you've got. Where is the finish? <laughs> Three fifty two. I don't even want to look at my overall time. Final time. Average pace four oh one. Time forty minutes. 
than 17 seconds. <sighs> I don't know what it is about the end of races or like PB attempt. I always want to cry, so I'm going to hold that for the for a little bit later. <laughs> but I think it's because you put in so much effort that you've given everything you've got. No, I'm really happy with that. I think sometimes you train so hard for a race and you end up getting your PBs on the way. And then when you give yourself that well to serve rest afterwards, you fall back behind and it can be really demoralizing. So I try not to compare completely to my PB, but it's something really nice to aim towards to be able to get back to that fitness again. So I'm so over the moon that I could get that close to 40 minutes. And I think it gives me that extra incentive to now push really hard over the next 12 weeks and get back to hopefully pre where my PB was and nip in under that 39 minutes. So <sighs> fingers crossed. Oh, that was tough, but that is my 10K time now. So how much time do you reckon I can shave off over the next 12 weeks? Make sure you enter the competition for a chance to win these shoes and come back to check out my hardest week of training. But if you can't wait till then, check out Mo's video where he was training for his sub three hour marathon.